Hi, welcome back to the Anchorman's Kitchen. I'm Dan Ashley. Uh, you guys have made this so much fun for me. Your enthusiasm for my mom's apple pie recipe and for the seven layer cookies has made this just a blast. So I want to share another family recipe that we've made for years and years, and I think you're going to love it. It's called monkey bread, and it's easy to make, and it's absolutely perfect for your family uh, tomorrow on Christmas morning as you're opening gifts or any Sunday that you want to serve your family a treat. So let me show you what you do. You start with a mixing bowl, uh, three quarters of a cup of chopped pecans, two thirds of a cup of packed brown sugar, okay, one half a cup of melted butter, just melt it in the microwave, obviously, one half of a cup of sour cream. Then the recipe calls for one tables or one teaspoon rather of vanilla extract. There you go, one teaspoon. Now I like vanilla, so I add just a tiny bit more because I'm a big fan of vanilla flavoring. All right, and then the next key to this whole thing is you add two cans of Pillsbury Brands Flaky Supreme Cinnamon Rolls. And what you do is you uh, take them out of the can and cut them into quarter, quarters like this. Mix them in. And as you go, just mix it a little bit so you get a nice coating on all of it. Add the rest of it in. And again, you've quartered these cinnamon rolls. You're going to love this. It's absolutely delicious. All right, there we go. And I've saved this last one here to show you what I'm doing. Save the frosting because you'll need that later. So I cut this into quarters. There's the last one. Really give it a good, uh, good toss in the bowl. As you can see, it takes a little bit of elbow grease to really mix it up nicely. Okay. Really toss it around. You can see how moist it gets. Just like this, all right? So don't be afraid to really get in there and mix it up and just get as much of that mixed around and on top of the cinnamon rolls and mixed into the cinnamon rolls as you possibly can. All right, there we go. Now you take a um, bun cake and you've uh, obviously put a little bit of uh, spray on there to keep it from sticking, anti-stick spray. Pour this into the bun pan like this. Don't miss that. Spread it around just like so. All right. There you go. Now wait until you see the finished product. Then come with me over to the oven. So we'll put this in the oven on 350. For 30 minutes, check it at 30 minutes, it could take as long as 40 minutes, should be lightly brown on the top and a little bit spongy to the touch. I'm going to leave this, I'm going to go get ready for work, I'm anchoring the news today, we'll check on this in just a moment. Alright, I'm ready for work, and so is our monkey bread. After 30 to 35 minutes, should be ready to go, see lightly brown on the top. Uh, next step, turn it upside down, and remember the glaze that we saved from those Pillsbury cans, you just drizzle it on top, just like this, and use all of it, because frankly this is the best part as far as I'm concerned. But it's absolutely delicious, and after you let it, after you take it out of the oven, let it cool for about 10 minutes before you did do this, that's what I did, so it's not too hot. There you are, then you slice it and it's ready to serve your family, it's just great. Uh, on the holiday or maybe on a Sunday morning for your family. You guys have made this so much fun for me to share some of these family recipes. I really appreciate it. Do me a favor, please share them with your friends. I'd love you to do that. Let me know what you think about it. Share your comments with me here on Facebook. And also do me a favor and like my page. That helps me a lot too. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this recipe. I've got another one coming uh, for New Year's Day that I think you'll really like. It guarantees prosperity and happiness in the new year. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Merry Christmas.